Hey guys, it's Becky. So today I thought that we would do a really quick get ready with me. Also, I'm going to put those little rumors that seem to be circulating around that I have perfect skin to rest. Why am I wielding these scissors, you ask? I have no idea. Oh, I do know. I just had to cut open a package. That's why they were here. Okay, so really quickly, let's just chit chat. And I'm going to tell you about a couple upcoming things that I have working. And we're just going to we're just gonna get ready for the day. All right? Cool. All right, so first things first. Let's talk about this skin, okay? This skin is a wreck. Um, hopefully, you guys are already subscribed to my channel. If you're not, pause this video. Subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and like the video while you're over there. And don't forget to hit that stupid bell because... You're never gonna get notified when I upload new content if you don't hit the bell. And chances are, if you do hit the bell, you might not get notified anyway. So, I guess it's just gonna, you know, be a gamble. Okay, all you gamblers out there. Okay, so, now that you've hit the bell, subscribe to the channel, and like this, let's go. First of all, let's, let's get here. You wanna talk about this? Let's talk about this. No, we're going the wrong way. Okay, so let's look at what's happening here. I've been doing so much makeup lately. My skin around this area hates me. It is so dry and flaky and thirsty as hell. It's thirsty. Give it some water. It's thirsty. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I walk around like this but nobody knows. All right, so hold up, get out of my face for a second. Okay, give me 50 feet and uh, let's get started. Okay, was that too far? Can you see? I don't know. Um, let's get started. Okay, so I washed my face already and I moisturized it. So this dry, deserty looking skin is after I've moisturized, I know. It's ridiculous. I'm going to go in with a primer. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. So if you see, I have red around here because everything is so dry and ridiculous. It's going to kind of help with that. So you just put like a little piece of the mat right there. And just kind of dot it here, there, everywhere. Okay, so now that my skin is good and primed, you need to let this sit. And see, my skin is so irritated just by putting primer on there, like it just got like a little redder. Do you, do you see? Do you see? Okay, so what we're gonna go in with today is it is summertime here in Texas. I am in Houston, shout out from Houston, and it is hot as hell. It might as well be tumbleweeds rolling across the desert because it is so hot outside. I mean like don't touch your steering wheel hot okay so how do you keep your face on your face and off your shirt okay because I'm wearing a white shirt today which I already spilled juice on you guys I don't know if you can tell nope there it is juice okay so the secret to keeping your makeup in place all day long in this ridiculous Texas heat is setting spray setting spray set your face before your makeup set your face in the middle of your makeup and set your face after your makeup okay i'm you can use any setting spray but my personal go-to favorite all the time is the urban decay all-nighter setting spray okay um i also like this mac fix plus is the coconut version it's just like the same as the regular one it just smells like you know summertime Hmm, it's good. Okay, um, and I also have this Morphe one, but really, again, my favorite one and the one that I tend to use in the summertime is the Urban Decay because it just works. So now that your primer is all in your skin, look, my skin just drank it quick because it's thirsty. Just missed it. Missed it. Okay. Also, what's happening here? You know what's happening? My camera wasn't plugged in and it's like, feed me, I'm, I'm hungry. Okay, so 
Now we're going to go in with a moisturizing foundation. That is really, really important, right? So today the foundation I'm going to be going with, this is one of my favorites. I go back to it all the time. It's the <sighs> Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Foundation, and it is in the shade Light Medium 9. Okay, this is actually like a really fluid you can't hear it probably but it's a really fluid foundation it's light um it's it's i want to say watery because like it'll like run see it's like it'll run so but i mean that's good because it'll give you light to medium coverage and it is buildable so i'm just going to take my little kabuki brush right here and kind of dab it all over and when you have dry skin like i'm gonna like i have down here we just talked about that um you don't want to like rub it in because that's just gonna kind of like lift up some of the dry skin because even if you've just um, moisturized or if you've just um, exfoliated, it doesn't matter. Your, your skin is dry, so it's mad. Like my skin, it's just mad. So what you wanna do with this foundation is you wanna put just light layers all over in a little just dabby motion. Because also if you're rubbing, you're gonna just rub it off and create um, lines or streaks same thing okay and so another key is don't pack on your makeup so much like make it so so heavy and cakey that is that's just gonna be harder to keep on your face is just gonna hate it and it's gonna be hard to keep on so just try to do light light layers and then you want to let each layer kind of um, dry and your skin soak it in before adding an additional layer you know you know what I mean And it's always a good idea to go in with a beauty blender or beauty sponge with maybe a little foundation or really no foundation at all. Just make sure it's a little damp. And you can also like press it into the skin a little bit more just to make sure you don't have any streaks. But I mean, this is looking pretty good. So I don't think I need to do that today. But just to show you, we might. But I do want to show you these new beauty blenders I just got. I want to show them to you. Look. How cute they are this is just like a regular little beauty blender it looks like a little bug to me i don't know why i just watched lion king so maybe you know why slimy yet satisfying okay and then i have this cool one it like is a little beauty blender here and a beauty blender there and that way it would be super easy to like get into like underneath your eye and all that jazz okay these are not wet. I just now took them out of the package. These are from Urban Studios. I actually got these at Sam Moon the other day. I went and they're having um, going out of business sale. This was actually $7.99, but then I got it for 20% off. So they are super cheap and they're very soft. And I mean, I think they're gonna work out just great. Just great. I don't know, they're just, I'm very excited about them. So if you guys ever, if you live in Houston, there's a Sam Moon somewhere out there going out of business. So the whole store, the whole store is 20% off. The whole thing. All right, so if you guys can tell, already this is looking a little bit better, okay? Like already. But we're gonna let drink it in. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit more down here to where I need it. I don't really need too much up here. I think I'm fine up there. Okay, so another thing, if your skin is dry like mine, just like look, a tiny little nothing. I just got that in my finger now. Anyway, if your skin is dry like mine, um, you're not going to want to use a ton of powder either. Because, believe it or not, I don't know what you've heard, but powder is drying. So if your skin's already really dry, I'd stay away from the powder. And maybe just powder in the places to where you're actually going to maybe get oily. Like I'll get oily on my nose, a little bit on my forehead, a little on my chin. But I'll stay away from like the sides of my mouth and you know the rest of it. Because I will have things like contouring powder over here and blush too. So that's just like packing powder on top of powder which is not a good idea. Now when I do get to my neck I don't like bother just blending like this. I will just go ahead and do some circular motions with what I have left over on my brush or my sponge or whatever. And don't forget to get your ears, guys. I still have paint in my ears. I did a, um, what did I use for pink? I don't know. I did some makeup look the other day where I used pink. 
what was it? Oh, like an ice cream demon, demon of gluttony. I did pink for that and for something else. I don't know what. Anyway, um, so you guys can go check it out. It turned out actually pretty good. It was a recreation of Lexi's um, Made You Look Gluttony Demon. So it was pretty cool. Anyway, so if you haven't seen it, go see it. Um, and any of the products that I'm using today, don't worry about it. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. I'm not here to sell you guys stuff at all. I'm just saying, if you do have it, this is what I'm using. And if you don't, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. That's what I'm saying. Oh, so I'm going to take my little beauty blender and I'm going to just damp it a little bit with my handy dandy spray bottle. And I'm going to use the Laura Mercier setting powder. And I'm just going to set underneath my eyes. And remember, you always damp your beauty sponge. I know you're guys, Becky, I already know that. Well, maybe you didn't, because guess what? I know what? When I first started using a beauty sponge, I didn't even know you were supposed to get it white, guys. I didn't even know. I was actually like getting ready with a friend of mine and she's just like do you have somewhere where i can get this wet because we we're at my house and i was like sure the sink and she's just like you know you're supposed to get it wet right i was like yeah, duh everybody knows that i had no idea i had no idea okay so really i'm just gonna like i'm pressing the powder into my skin and then that helps fill in pores not in like a cloggy way but it just helps like your skin look more smooth and fluid and just all around better texture than if you were to just rub it on with a brush. That's what I'm talking about, a brush. All right, and see, I'm just patting it right here on my chin and trying to stay away from the edges where it was super dry. Because, baby, it was dry. It is dry. You just can't tell as much. See, it's all. Are you looking better already? Okay, so now moving on. Now we're gonna go ahead and go in with our contouring. Let's see what to use. What should we use to do our contouring? Okay, well, let's go ahead and go into our Benefit Blush Bar. I actually love this. Um, this is my favorite Hoola bronzer. It just matches my face so well. And honestly, a lot of faces. It will match a ton of people's faces. I've used it on so many people. And it seems just to complement skin everywhere. Now, you don't have to buy this whole blush bar. Because I want to say it had the price on here somewhere. I want to say it was like 40 bucks maybe. But I've had it forever. Okay? And I'm talking like forever so it really is worth it oh it smells good too it really is worth it but they also sell these little um cakes individually so you could just buy like whatever blush you want if you wanted a blush or just that bronzer you can do that and on my contour what I kind of do is I turn my little brush sideways and I rub it on like that. I don't go in like this because that tends to make it too harsh. Although it might look a little harsh in the camera for some reason as I'm looking at the camera. It's a little harsher than it is in the mirror. But that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so I've done that. Now I will go in with another brush that doesn't have blue or pink paint on it for some reason why is that a thing okay so this one and it doesn't have any I just kind of dust it on my brush that like I was already using and then I'll just take and blend all this out it makes it look really natural you're not really adding hardly anything like nothing really but you just kind of take whatever's left off of this sponge and it's a little more fluffy and not so dense like this one is just so dense and so concentrated that it just it's going to put the product on this one is just so fluffy and wispy it's just going to kind of move the product around a little bit if that makes sense does that make sense let me know 
Let me know in the comments if that makes sense. Okay, also, I would like to know if you guys have ever tried any of the products that I'm using today. If you have, I want to know what you thought about them because everybody's experience is different. Baby, everybody's, let me tell you. There is a product that I will ride and die for and somebody will be coming at me in the comments saying, oh, I hated that. I tried it. I hated it. It was the worst. And I'll be like, oh, okay. Sure. I mean, you're a little nutso, but sure. Okay. So, in this specific blush bar, what I do is like, you're like, ooh, this color's nice. That one's cool. Should we go with that one? What? No. I literally take them all. I just go, choo, 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 choo. make like a little weird little T. Just all throughout the whole thing. And just pick it up and... You got to do your, your smile. <laughs> Sometimes a real smile helps, but if you got to fake it, just. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. So I don't pick one specific color. I just, I go ham with the whole thing and they smell so good. <sighs> yes, they do. It smells it's just something about when it, something smells good, you just want to put it all over your face. Just all over. When it smells good, you just want it on your body, yes. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> that moment's over. And so just, just a light little blush. So we did contour, blush, and then we would add highlighter right here. Okay. But before we do that, we're going to go in with this bronzing powder by MAC. And this is just like, it's got like a little bit of, not, I want to say glitter, but a luminosity kind of to it. Is this mirror blinding you? I apologize. Um, it's just like a little bit of a bronzer. It's not too, too deep, but it is summertime. It could be deeper, but this is, this is what we're working with today. And I just kind of bronze up here. It's okay for your forehead to be a little bit darker because that's the closest thing to Jesus, baby. It's the closest thing to God. God is kissing it. Or at least the sun is. So it's cool if your forehead's just a little bit darker. And don't forget to jump. Bronze? I said John's. <laughs> don't forget to John's your jawline. Just... To make your neck look a little thin I don't know if you guys know but I'm not that thin I'm not a thin person but people would tell me all the time your face looks so thin uh, that's magic baby and the magic is bronzer it's just a little hocus pocus Ooh, speaking of hocus pocus you guys know what I'm about to do I'm about to do a makeup look for Winifred Sanderson baby yes Miss Sanderson herself. Do you know who that is? Can anybody tell me? Leave in the comments if you know who Winifred Sanderson is. Okay, so for our, not bronzer, no, for our highlight, I'm gonna go with the RCMA Pure Pearl Powder. All right, this is actually a really inexpensive powder. I have no idea how much I paid for it. Wait, I'll tell you. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so it was $18, but you get three ounces of powder. This is huge I've had this forever and I have used none of it it's still like here and I've had it for so so long I also have the RCMA no color translucent powder which is great people compare these two together um, I do like the Laura Mercier better but in a pinch this will work big time okay okay my camera shut off so, I don't know what that was about. Anyway, so I was talking about Laura Mercier powder. Um, it's great, but if you don't have it and you don't want to spend, I want to say this was like 40 bucks, maybe more. I don't even know. So, I'm not going to say. It was a ton. It was a lot of money. You could spend the 18 bucks on, oh, this was only 12 $12 on this whole three ounce bottle, and it is pretty comparable. A lot of people like it better or some, but I mean, I still like Laura better. Laura's still my girl. But... I did use that a long time before I got the Laura Mercier powder. So, okay. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pour just a tiny bit of this powder into the cap. And I'm just going to whoosh it right here. And look, can you see the magic happening here? Whew. No magic. Magic. No magic. 
Okay, that's over. Okay, and if you want to, take whatever's excess on your brush and put it right up here above the arch of your eyebrow. Because that kind of just raises it up, you know? It's like an instant little brow lift without the surprise look. You know what I'm saying? I just use a little extra. Just because I'm a little extra. Your um, highlighter should go directly in with your personality. If you're a little extra, baby, use a little extra. Okay? Alright. So now, that's done. And if you can tell, my skin is looking pretty good, right? You can't tell I have this like monstrous evil villain dry skin right here I feel like it should be in a comic book for evil okay moving on today we are gonna go in with the urban decay by ultra urban decay ultra violet naked palette that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get naked today you want to get naked in this video let's get naked all right let me show you this video I mean this palette not this video. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about anymore. All right, look at the colors. I mean, I feel like the video is just the camera is not going to do you justice because this is a really beautiful, beautiful palette. Um, it's probably pretty expensive, though. I would have to check. I should have checked before I started this video, but here we are. And another thing, you guys, everyone should have. You can't see what this is called because I have so much paint on it. This is called Blank Slate. It's just this little sponge that you can help clean your brushes in between cleaning your brushes. Because if you are anything like me, oh, you hate to clean your brushes. Cleaning your brushes is like a chore. Would I spend $300 on new brushes if I didn't want to clean my brushes? Hell no. But I would think about it. Okay, I would. I would think about it hard. Alright, let's go into this um, second second shade in the palette called Mind Slip. Mind Slip. Ooh, that sounds something. And then you could also just take this and dust it off. Oh, and let me just show you because I don't clean this thing either. Oh, you can't even see, but this is so... Look at all of this. Um, powder that just comes off of my eyeshadow brushes and there's still like a bunch packed in here which should have taken that out over my white shirt <laughs> probably not shake it off shake it off shake it off am I going to change my shirt damn it it might be okay do I care I'm a mom it's fine I can be messy it's fine the world understands alright and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of keep it right there above the brow bone right there on the brow bone whatever and just kind of do a little swirl make a little love get down tonight get down tonight i have had coffee guys but not that much not as much as to be acting this crazy but here we are anyway guys so let me know in the comments i actually never do get ready with me it's like never so let me know what you guys think because I do have a lot of you guys that ask me questions um which by the way you can leave here you do not have to um put them in my instant messenger because trust me I would get a notification here and check it before I would check my instant messenger because you know I don't be getting no pee pee pics on you know here which I will be getting some of those on my instant messenger so, okay, enough about that. All right, so it's just like a really nice, peachy, just just lovely, lovely color. Now let's go in with this shade called Hacked. Can you see it? Did you see it? All right, it's called Hacked. It's just like a matte light brown. And we're gonna go in with a slightly smaller brush. If we have one, do we have a clean one? Do we, do we have a clean one? Do we, do we? Clean enough. We have a clean enough one. Score. Okay. And then we're just going to go in exactly where we placed the other one, but smaller. So, like, maybe if we went out to here, which we did. We went out to here with the other one. We're only going to go to, like, maybe here. And I have hooded eyes. Okay, so... Lord bless my little heart. I have hooded eyes. And bless your little heart if you have hooded eyes as well. 
um, you want to go like a little bit above your actual crease to kind of create like another crease because if not when you open your eyes you're just gonna be like makeup wear what makeup you ain't got no makeup on girl you blinked it away okay so I'm just gonna go in with this windshield wiper motion and again if you have eyes that are not as taut as they used to be ma'am with 33 34 am I 34 holy shit I'm 34 um I hold the edge of my eye don't like don't pull it your eyes are gentle and you'll be needing that Botox bad so just hold it so it doesn't like crease and wrinkle up on you because if you do you'll just get like those little I don't know I always think of it like those little bumpy lines that that shake you awake whenever you're falling asleep on the road or you just can't drive uh yeah so it's just like oh back back in your lane back in your lane bump 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 you know what I'm saying you don't know what I'm saying because I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so back to makeup. Okay, so what I like to do is just a little circles. Like do your little circle thingy, then windshield wiper it. Yes, circles, windshield, because that will, that will ensure that you're not gonna get any harsh lines because you're gonna be going like different directions with it. Maybe this way, maybe that way. Actually, I never go that way, That's that just feels wrong. But you do do windshield wiper motions and little circles. That's that's your sweet spot. So little circles. Okay. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna go in with an even smaller brush, which is this one. It's actually a Jaclyn Hill brush. I like my Jaclyn Hill brushes. Okay, so a little smaller brush, and I'm gonna go in. Uh, with this darker, it's like a dark brown shimmer shade. I hate when I blind you guys. I'm sorry. Um, it's called Digital. I don't even know. Let's let's see. What you tell me? What are we calling this shade? We're calling it. Hey, we don't know how to focus shade. I gotta hide behind it and don't look at my nails. Okay, so it's brown. It's like a a slight shimmer brown tad tad smidge of a shimmer. I don't know if they are even calling it a shimmer. What is Urban Decay calling things these days? I don't know. And we're gonna put that exactly where we put the other one, but smaller. Look, do you see what I was talking about? Where it has like the little, stay on line, stay on the road, get back on the road. That's what I'm talking about. So we hold the eye, do my little tiny circles, and windshield. Tiny circle, and wipe it. Circle it, and wipe it. Circle it and wipe it or something a little less crazy and because I'm not doing like a super dramatic look today this is my natural this might be like you're going to dinner fancy occasion but this is like my natural this is the thing that happens when I say hey let's do a natural look like I just popped out looking like this this is what I look like when I wake up This is what I want people to believe. Yeah. She just naturally has those colors. So, if I say that, then y'all just go with it. Don't call me out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now that that's done, let's just do a little bit more because, because I want to. That's why, just because I got to. P A R T Y. Okay. Now we're going to go back in with our other brush that we had just previously used and go over the edges of all of it. No extra product whatsoever. Just going to kind of windshield wiper that to kind of blend a little bit. Get it a little bit blended. Because if you did wake up like this, you probably wouldn't wake up like this with harsh lines. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Okay. So now that all that is said and done, we are going to take a concealer that I didn't actually, I did not use a concealer underneath my eyes. I don't know if I pointed that out to you. I do not believe I did. Because um, since it is summertime and it's hotter and my face is really dry, it can tend to make it like super cakey underneath my eyes. So I'm not 
usually for my everyday gonna go in with the concealer at this point in time when winter comes baby i'll be concealing all over the place oh that was just my uh tarte ultra creamy shape tape concealer concealer uh, and i'm just gonna put that here and if you don't know where to put your concealer if you just put it like on the edge here and then like look up it makes like a tiny little line not too much in one that you can't erase if you hate it but that's pretty much where you're gonna go so you're just gonna conceal all the way up to that line and I'm only gonna do about half of my eyelid and then sort of cut it at a slant is what I'm gonna be doing today and then take it to the corner take it to the bridge Oof. no ma'am and not a lot like I'm not doing a lot of concealer because I'm just gonna do like a light little color for what I have planned today I don't need like you know go into the ball makeup on I don't need all that um, what am I doing today guys I am going to Walmart yes because I have to take back a microphone oh this microphone have you ever used it it is called the snowball ice microphone I got a new camera which I'm looking at you looking at me through this camera and uh, I'm real excited about it so it actually the microphone doesn't fit <laughs> you need like the little jack jacker thingy and this one does not have that this one has like a USB which my camera does not have and since my camera is so cool like the mic is got to go it's got to be the one that's got to get out Okay, so since I did that with the um, concealer to help everything just glide on a little bit better, I'm going to go in with a little Laura powder, Mercier powder, any powder, any powder. And I'm just going to kind of dab over that just to make sure it's going to be completely dry and my uh, colored eyeshadow will show up a little bit better. And then you can just take one of your brushes and brush away any excess. Just like that. Y'all get excited for this Winifred Sanderson look because I know the song and it's going down. Okay, so this is a brush that came with the Urban Decay um, Ultraviolet palette, the one we are currently using. And we're going to go in with this Dazed. It is like a... It is like a shimmery... Um, peachy I don't know like shimmery orangey peachy let's just can you guys let me get behind you will it focus will it focus focus okay so that's what it is it's like a peachy pink peachy color what do you want from me that's what it is and I'm just gonna pack that like over here on the whole lid just like this little brush right here I'm actually not a fan of this brush I'm really not I don't like it but do I have another brush that would be better that's clean that's the thing do I have brushes oh yes ma'am yes ma'am I do have brushes but do I have brushes that are clean like if I'm just using like a black it doesn't matter it could have whatever color but if I'm actually trying to do like a light color like this it needs to uh she needs to be clean and cleaning brushes is like it's an event at my house it takes hours hours then i had i cut like pool noodles like slits and pool noodles and then i strap that to a table so they're just like being held upside down because if you hold them like this the water gets into the wood it never dries never and it's not good for your brushes so uh, yeah, so I have to hold them upside down. Then I get a fan out and like will gently blow a fan because you don't want to blow dry your brushes. Because I used to do that, guys. I used to blow dry my brushes, which is why I lost I lost a few friends that way. Okay, so now we have that on. See, just like light, shimmery, beautiful, whatever. We're gonna go back in with the darker digital shade and just kind of clean up the edges a little bit because I do want it to be a little pronounced. And then that way everything's just blended, no harsh lines. Focusing on the outside of the eye. Do that over here as well and then we'll go onto the inside. Remember, let's hold it so we don't get any bumpies. 
Any wake up limes. I want you to know, guys, I am suffering from lack of killer stories. Is that a thing? I'm like so big into murder mystery podcast and just all the things, like all the murder mystery stuff. I'm, I'm all about it. But this week, I've not heard a single person get murdered. Not even one. So, if you know a good story, link it below or let me know. I'll look it up. Because, guys, I gotta hear something. Okay, so now our last shade that we're gonna go in today for the top of our eyelid is going to be this fluid color. It is a super shimmery, kind of pearly. I don't really know what we're gonna call it. That's what we're gonna call it. Super shimmery, pearly. That's what we're gonna call it. I like it. You like it. We're gonna go in with like a corner eye brush right here. I'm gonna put that right there. On the outside of my brow bone at the top. Oh, I hear Tobias calling me. I hear a mom. Mom, you guys want to see what he has to say? I bet it's nothing important. I bet it's Logan won't share snacks with me. That's probably what it is. Okay, so that is literally it for the top of our eyes. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is go right back in with all those shades that we just used and put them on the bottom. Starting with the first one, which was the Mind Slip. And just kind of putting it and smoking it out. I watched this um, Murder Mystery. Well, oh, she is a podcaster now. She has a podcast. Her name's Bailey Sari. And if you guys haven't seen her, check her out because she's amazing. She does great makeup, and, uh, you know, you get to hear an awesome little murder mystery story. So if you're into that sort of thing, you know, I highly, I highly suggest you go check out her channel. That's what she says. She says that in her intro. You don't get it. If, if you're not a part of it, you won't get it. Okay. So now we're just going to take this uh, hacked shade that we used. Again, smoke it out. Oh, the whole point of me bringing her up is she always, when she's doing her bottom li liner or eyeshadow, she always goes. Now, we're going to go in with a digital shade and a flat brush. Flat brush. Where's the flat brush? Oh, here comes Toby. We're going to find out what he wants. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, and there's Safana joining the party. Hi, Tafana. Okay. Hi. And that's Tobias. This is me. That is him. I'm Tobias. My my first name Tobias, and my last name is Tobias Connor Quammen. His last name. His whole last name is Tobias Connor Quammen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing that just happened, guys. He booped me. I have been booped by the baby. Okay. So now I'm just taking a regular coal. It's the infallible. L'Oreal infallible. <laughs> coal eyeliner. He's stealing my thunder. He's trying to take over my video. <laughs> and I'm just going to put that on my bottom liner. My water line. Can I kiss you? Sure. Love ya. That was in the, that was in the thing, right? Yeah. That's <laughs> what happens when you do stuff on camera. It winds up on camera. Remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It winds up on camera. What does wind up mean? Okay guys, I'm not going to put you through that, so I just muted the video, sped it up, and I'm going to do this here voiceover. Okay, so this is just me trying to put on liquid eyeliner, and I say trying because that little guy right there kept moving my chair and bumping me, so I was desperately trying to get them even, which I'm not sure ever happened, 
and I just kept making them thicker and thicker till I just had super thick eyeliner, which is fine. I'm all about thick eyeliner. You know, we we're going for a natural look today anyway, so thick eyeliner was fine. Anyway, so tote, tote, <laughs> coat the top and bottom of both lashes. Not like I have two lashes, but both sets of lashes. You know, you know what I meant. Does anybody else make a weird face? You have to make a weird face to do your mascara. What if you made like a really weird face? You get it, right? <laughs> there we go. I'm loving it. Where's that from? Where is that from? That's from somewhere. Someone tell me. Someone tell me where that's from. I'm loving it. I have no idea where that's from. Help me. Okay, we're going to wear these lashes today because they are ridiculous. I like them. They're more lengthy and not as... That had two lids on it. How crazy was that? And not as full. I mean, they are pretty full. I mean, look at them. They're kind of full. But they're only kind of full. Okay, so I'm going to tell you how I put on my eyelashes. Okay? First, you will need eyelashes. Then you will need glue. A lot of people use duo glue. Duo. I don't know why I can think of it. Um, which is great. It's fine. It's good glue. I like the black one, whatever. But my thing is I will use, um, this is my thing. I will use hair bonding glue. Sometimes this is actual eyelash glue. Um, this is hair bonding glue. So this is the one that I really like to use. So if you have trouble with your eyelashes like staying on this is what you do and so I put like a tiny little dot usually on the back of my case right here then I close my lid and actually what's on the tip of this lid is what I normally will use especially on the first eyelash I might have to dip into the second one but the first one this is what I do and since these eyelashes are usually too long, I'm going to take the longest scissors known to man and I just kind of snip the edge off a little bit just because, again, I'm going for a little bit more everyday kind of look. So I am taking off that much, which I will save these because when I do like concepts or like creatures or whatever then they come in handy okay so i'm going to take just this glue right here at the edge of it and i'm just going to barely put a little strip i don't know if you guys can see this just make sure it's coated but don't put a ton of glue because that's just going to cause you problems and the key is to wait you're going to want to like put the glue on and just stick it right on your eye this would be a mistake because you need the glue to dry not dry but get like tacky and start to set a little bit and then as soon as it does that like you'll stick it to your eye and it'll like grab hold right away so you're going to stick the front part on the front where you want it if you have a problem with your eyes watering sometimes i do which is the worst um you do all your makeup then you put those damn eyelashes on then your eye starts to water and everything just goes to hell okay so you put it like at the front let me get up in here do you guys want to get closer let's see yeah you do okay get up in here so i put it to the front of my eye and see look it already like grabbed a hold see and then the back see easy peasy lemon squeezy and if you have to adjust it or just push it on a little bit more you can totally do that with these tweezers or you can use your finger but I definitely will push the edges down and then maybe I take my finger and just kind of push it up on there. And so these are not too, too, too dramatic. And then if you don't have good, these are not good eyelashes. Let me stress this to you. I buy these from the beauty supply store, like the places where you go to get like 
wigs and like a weave hair pieces you know things like that they sell super cheap makeup that I I, I don't buy the makeup really but um, anyway but you do what you want but yeah this is where I go to buy these and these are about a dollar and 25 cents each for these lashes here comes Tobias again okay so these are like about a dollar 25 cents for the lashes so feel free to put mascara on them you can take them off you can save them they're totally reusable I do it all the time but uh, but anyway yeah but they're super cheap what um, I'm trying to play um game on one of the game TVs, but some of them are not working. Okay. And they're not letting me play games. All right. Can I put this eyelash on? Then I'll come help you. Yeah. You cool with that? Yeah. Okay. Go wait for me. I'll just sit here and wait. Oh, he's just gonna stay here and wait. How nice. I'm not gonna. Just get in the camera and one just gonna wait. He's just gonna wait. Great. Okay, so if you don't know how long to leave your eyelash uh, glue to set, it's about 30 seconds. 15 to 30 seconds. No big deal. I blow on mine because it just works better for me that way. Sometimes you gotta blow on it. Okay, anyway, so again, you stick it to the front of your eye, it kind of grabs a hold and then stretch it across. And there you go. You have a secured eyeliner. I know. Eyelash. That's what you have. All right. And then I'll take the edge of it just to make sure it's like up on there real good. And then I'll take the edge over here. And just kind of take your finger and just smish, smish, smish. But I mean, it's fine. It's fine. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and just take the mascara and go up with it. And it kind of just meshes your eyelashes with these eyelashes so you don't have them falling down. You could also curl your eyelashes, that's a thing, but... Curlers are terrifying. I have them, but I never really use them because I always pinch my skin. And I never use them on other people. <laughs> because if I'm pinching myself, oh my god, can you imagine if you just like pinch somebody else's eye off? They wouldn't appreciate it okay so there's that guys we are almost done except let's throw a little something on our lips so because we're going for a all natural look today we are going to be going with just this um ultra beauty oh, i need my glasses verna okay color Verna <laughs> which is just a beach pink color hi hi <laughs> hi guys and so yeah he's gonna be a star so so look at him now tell him hello hello so you can say hey I knew this cute little kid way back when when his mom was desperately trying to get out the door to go to Walmart and uh, <laughs> I gave that you. wasn't happening I gave them this anyways yeah so you can uh put a this is this is really versatile okay so this is ultra beauty blend ultra beauty oh. brand ultra god i can't talk god help me shouldn't be trying to talk when i do my lips anyway but you can put like a lip liner with it or you can just wear it like this which is just like kind of a nude pink color it's it's fine it's good and this my friends is the finished look right here um i know it didn't seem like it was that quick because i was talking and i do that but it's really super quick nothing to it how do we look great great <laughs> okay guys so that's it with my get ready for me remember if you haven't already like i said at the beginning of this but it's okay because i'm a mom i'll repeat myself i'll do it all day I'm yeah, a pro. but friends, like this video, uh, okay? Help me out, guys. Give it a thumbs I'm up. About to talk. He's about to talk, but hold on. Give it a thumbs up, guys. Uh, be sure and share it if you liked it. All right, and do that thing. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. Hit the magical bell, cause it's important. All right. 
So anyway, guys, it helps me out a ton if you guys do that. And I do have some things coming up. Um, I didn't get to tell you about all of them. I'm going to have a giveaway that's going to be happening right here on YouTube. So stay tuned. I fell off my stool. <laughs> that's a thing that happened. Uh, anyway, so um, look, I'm getting two thumbs up already. Yes. Thanks, Topes. Okay, so don't forget to do all those things, all right? And stay tuned, because I do have things coming up that you're going to want to be a part of, okay? So, uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye. What? Thumbs down. What's thumb down? No, thumbs up. Turn them around. <laughs> and if you guys accidentally hit the thumbs down button, correct it. <laughs> okay, say bye. Bye, but wait. Uh, guys, so... Make sure you do the right thing from my mom. Bye. Yeah. Make good choices. Yeah. <laughs> That's with Bailey. Okay, anyway, bye guys.